It's the longest oh. 659 I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding? No. Well, they come in threes. Oh. So it didn't cause you to add that little bone? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? God, I'd shoot myself. Roll call of Alderman. Wow. Alderman Kinsella? Oh my god. Here. Alderman Hazel? Here. Alderwoman Pusa? Alderwoman Duco? Here. Alderman Randall? Here. Alderman Ferguson? Here. Alderman Anthony? Here. Alderman Ovian? Here. Alderman Dentleman? Here. Alderwoman Schaefer? Alderwoman Steele? Here. Alderman Rothweiler? Here. Alderman Elmore? Here. Alderman Wygon? Here. Alderman Wigginton? Here. Alderman Barfield? Here. Alderman Pusa and Alderman Schaefer are excused. Roll call department heads. City Treasurer Hart? Here. City Attorney Horner? Here. Police Chief Bill Clay? Fire Chief Tom Poor? Here. Finance Director Jamie Matrix, City Engineer Tim Gregowitz, Here. Director of Maintenance Ken Vaughn, Here. Director of Public Works Jason Poole, Director of Race, Wastewater Royce Carlisle, Interim Director of Residential and Co Commercial Development Services Anissa McCaskill, Here. Director of Library Leander Spearman, Here. Director of IT Scott Markovich. Here. Okay, uh, Jamie's excused on vacation. Assistant Chief uh, Ice Cans here for Chief Clay tonight. And uh, who Royce. else? Royce is excused. Uh, Randy's here for Royce, and Craig's here for, Jason. Craig's here for Jason tonight. So that accounts for everyone, and thank you. We have a full team represented. Uh, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, everybody is able, would you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Okay, we have no uh, public hearings this evening. I would like to remind, might be a few new faces in here, if we ever had to leave for uh, bad weather, and thank our lucky stars we don't have what's on the East Coast, uh, across the hall when the police officers are out in the lobby there, they'll guide you to the doorway that goes down to the basement right across from the clerk's office. If we ever had a smoke or fire that we had to exit, once again, go out one of the main doors, be calm, go across the street carefully, and we ask that you would meet in front of the sign at the courthouse so that we could kind of get a count of all the people that you sat with and make sure everybody's out. Hopefully we don't need those uh, actions. At this time we get to public participation. I will open public participation. I will call on people as they raise their hand. When I do and recognize them, come to the microphone and um, state your name and give the purpose of your comments. Uh, hopefully it's city business. Try to keep it to two to three minutes. Anybody this evening? Yes, sir. My name's, uh, is this on? My name's Kevin Shepard. I'm uh, the project manager with Oates Associates in Collinsville. I'm representing Mr. Vogt on uh, his RV storage lot. Uh, just wanted to say that uh, what he's doing there is gonna improve the property, its appearance, uh, and its, uh, uh, and its function. Uh, the ice machine will be restored back there. Uh, He's going to fence around uh, an RV storage lot that'll be graveled, um, uh, and he's going to uh, paint the exterior of the building and improve the looks uh, of the building as you come into town there on 13. Uh, okay. So. Thank, thank you for the input. Okay. Yep. All righty. Anyone else this evening like to say anything? I will close public participation. This time, as I had the privilege of doing many months, uh, I will recognize the character word of the month, which is respect, meaning showing regard for self, others, property, and those in authority. Respect is uh, one of the character words, and uh, probably starting this next month, we'll probably start to see the high school kids back here uh, doing the character words for us like they do from the basic initiative, and that's always nice to see them present but I want you can tell them that we still read the character word this, this month, respect. At this time, I have a bittersweet um, opportunity or responsibility, and that's to call our friend Tim Gregowitz up so I can properly, on our behalf, recognize him 
for his longtime service to the city as he faces some new challenges in front of him. Now, I told Tim when he came to me, and it was definitely good of sweet because Tim's never shy for words in my office, but <laughs> he came that morning and I suddenly knew that something was going on. And uh, he said, I don't know how to tell you this, but I've taken an opportunity in a wild one. I said, no, no, town and country, yeah. I got it right. Both of them were pretty good. Too. <laughs> and I said, first thing I said to him was, Tim, I know why you're doing this. You think they've got a bigger budget, because I'm kind of tight giving you the money sometimes, because we had to really stretch it. So uh, he, uh, we chuckled a little bit, but I want to, I want to tell you all tonight, you know, I hired Tim March of 2006. Is that right? Yeah. And the first day he was here, I took him out to the archers. <laughs> and we were facing, and Garrett at that time was not our city attorney and had no idea he would be spending so much time writing and appealing and in front of judges, etc., about the archers years later. But Tim helped me from the very beginning. We inherited all this. In fact, the very first vote on that archer situation was the first night I was mayor on December 20, 2004. And I was given the agenda and said, well, this is, and we took it. I mean, I would have voted for it because I was explaining it was the right thing to do. But it became quite a challenge to us as we faced this thing, and partly because they bellied up at one point and we had different ownership and then the only person sometimes I and R can point the finger at is, is the one standing that was the city. So I appreciate that project and so many more. That one just stands out because it was your first day on the job. And basically, almost your last day on the job, we're pretty finally winding it up 13 and a half years later. So that's uh, kind of like why we hired Tim. Um, but Tim, this plaque is, is a small token of our appreciation. I, I will say this before I read the plan. We could, we could go around about budgets. If Jane was here, she'd be up here telling me to say what to say. But when it came to needing to work with a, a resident, to be a representative of the city, um, to let somebody know that, look, we're going to try to help you. When it came to sincerity, knowledge, when it came to representing Belleville, at its best. I could send Tim Gregowitz out to any business owner or family member, and I knew he was going to represent the city and the mayor's office uh, in a very professional way. Tim cares. And um, I, I run his legs off some days, and, and I know that I've told him many times, Tim, I know that we should have a couple more people in your office, like many offices in the city. But you've done an outstanding job holding things together, dealing with the limited budgets. And when you think about it, together, in the time we've been together, would you tell me how many how many millions of dollars of over 90 million. close to 90 million dollars of infrastructure <laughs> since we partnered up in 2006? That's a lot of improvements. And that doesn't count Royce's phenomenal amount and Randy. That doesn't count that. So we did pretty. That's just that's just roads. So Tim, on behalf of the city, I'd be happy to present, sad but happy to present to Tim Gregowitz in grateful appreciation for 13 and a half years of dedicated service to the city of Belleville while serving as city engineer, 2006 to 2019. We want you to give this to you as a small reminder, you don't forget us, but we really appreciate your <laughs> hard work. And Mayor, yep. uh, Sheriff Streets and Graves, I think our committee would all agree that we appreciate your professionalism. We hate to see you go. Um, I hope whoever fills your shoes have, have got big feet. Uh, and I want to know, are you going to be at the next Streets and Graves meeting or are you going to be gone? Because we still want to pick on you one, one more time. This is my last meeting. Oh, shoot. <laughs>
This was intentional, Roger. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. And I also think on behalf of Ward 6, we owe you a lot with the Orchard project. <coughs> and it looks great. All right, good. Ward <laughs> 4, I'd like to put something out that Jim was able to help us with, since we don't have any TIF money in Ward 4. North 98th Street got repaved because of this man right here. And that you get all the credit, Tim? Were, were you alderman then, or I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your support and comments to put him. Okay, that's a tough one, C and Tim. And we are looking for an engineer. We, right out of the gate, we thought we had a candidate, and in a couple days of I guess checking with his possibilities of throwing his hat in the ring. It didn't quite work for his retirement of another place. And uh, so we have posted the job. We posted the job description on our website. We've also today, I think, shared it with the Professional Engineers Association and it should be posted on there and some other places. So we're actively looking for Tim's replacement. And I know that Colette and Drew and Others will help us as we uh, we stick together and work together to hold things together until we get our our next Tim. So we appreciate all of your help. Okay. Moving on to the regular part of the minutes in the meeting, I'd ask for a motion. If someone would consider making a motion to approve the city council meeting minutes and executive session minutes of August 19th. 2019. Alderman Wigington, second by Diddleman. Any additions or corrections to the minutes? Yes, sir. On page 8, it indicated that um, the location for the Orchard Project is going to be set at the Dear clerk is noting that. Uh, is that okay with the two yep. of you gentlemen to make sure. that amendment? Okay, hearing that, is there any other comments, questions, or concerns about the minutes as we're just uh, motion and seconded with that amendment? All in favor of receiving and filing, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We go to claims, payroll, and disbursements. I'd ask for a motion to approve the claims and disbursements in the amount of $1 $143,267.53 and payroll in the amount of $868,721.01. Do I hear a motion? Alderman Kinsella? Do I hear a second? Alderman Ferguson? Do I hear discussion on those items? Roll call. Kinsella? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wiggington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, reports. We have a treasurer's report, July 2019, and a statement of cash and investment report of 2000, July 2019. Do I hear a motion to receive and file? Uh, Dittleman, second by uh, Hazel. Do I hear discussion on those two reports? Yes, sir. I'm going to have to, yes, sir. But it, it could represent uh, sidewalk, uh, asphalt patch, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Traffic signals. It could be a combination of those items. Like you said, Jamie's on vacation this week. If you call my office tomorrow or email me, I will have Shelly look at it. If she can figure it out, if not, we'll have you an answer as soon as Jamie gets back. It's something along those lines that add up to that amount. It, it comes from the engineering department. Yeah, it comes from... Tim caused it. Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. Did we vote on it yet? Okay, so I'm asking for a, this is for the Treasurer's Report and Statement of Cash and Investment, right? All in for, favor of receiving and filing for audit, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carries. We go to a, a section 11, 11A. I'd ask for a motion 
Well, let's see. Do you do you care if the no. clerk would read these together? There's five properties, and what we're doing, and the and the city attorney or the clerk can help verify or uh, testify to what I'm telling you. As we've done in the past, it's been the advice of our city attorneys, both Mr. Harner and Mr. Flynn, that when you are getting ready to take these properties down and all the expenses that involve in court cost proceedings, sometimes it's just better for us to go ahead and purchase the property for the tax sale. So the $795 represents the amount of the St. Clair County trustee payment. And then we'll have the ability, I explained to Alderman Wygon today in my office, for example, with 500 Park Avenue. Once we have ownership, then be, while we're waiting on the final demolition, which could take two months or so, we will go in there and clean up all the brush and all the mess that's been on that property. And that's, a, that's what we will try to do in most of these, uh, even if we're pending several weeks or months for uh, demolition. In, not, maybe not every item, but a lot of it. We'll try, to, we'll try to make it look more desirable until we get to the stuff down. So do I, what, you want to please read them for me? Yes. We'll do this as one motion. 11A1, motion to approve a contract with St. Clair County trustee payment account to purchase the property at 611 West E Street, parcel number 08210119016 in the amount of $795. 11A2, motion to approve a contract with St. Clair County trustee payment account to purchase the property at 617 Mascuda Avenue. Parcel number 0820211026 and 027 in the amount of $795. 11A3, motion to approve a contract with St. Clair County trustee payment account to purchase the property at 500 Park Avenue. Parcel number 0827020001 in the amount of $795. 11A4, motion to approve a contract with St. Clair County trustee payment account to purchase the property at 133 South 18th Street. Parcel number 08200413015 in the amount of $795. 11A5, motion to approve a contract with St. Clair County trustee payment account to purchase the property at 4830 Walter Street. Parcel number 08070410001 in the amount of $795. Do I hear a motion to approve the purchase of those properties as just read by the city clerk? Motion by Alderman Kinsella, second by Alderman Anthony. Any discussion on these five purchases? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Motion carries. Zoning Board of Appeals, we have uh, four reports. Want to we'll tackle them together, or all at once, or what's your favor? We'll do them individual. I'd like, I'd like to go ahead and, and do one. Like to, to hold it out. Yes, sir. Well, let's start out with that and just do it. Eleven B one thirty four July nineteen Chanel McNeese a request for a use variance to establish a two family dwelling at two hundred one East Garfield Street, parcel number zero eight two seven zero one 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 zero one seven located in an A one single family residence district, applicable section of the zoning code one six two point five seven zero war six, zoning board unanimously recommended approval. So let's first of all, someone willing to make a motion to approve that and have the proper ordinance drawn. Alderman Steele, second by Alderman Rothweiler. Um, we're now, on, the floor is open for discussion. I just want to know if there were any other duplexes in the, uh, in, in, on that street, in, in the world. Yeah, there is. There's actually three more, at least yeah. in a row. Four. Oh, uh, yeah. There, there are four buildings in a row. Um, they were all originally duplexes, and then at some point the city changed the zoning to being single family. In the last year, we've had one of those buildings being reverted back into a duplex and the person is actually occupying. So this is the second of what was previously four vacant buildings that will now be occupied. The um, petitioner intends to live on one side and rent the other side to a tenant. The, these, I can truly tell you these buildings were built as duplexes and I've talked to our Jeff Hydar and our commissioner 
And I know this for a fact because in 1931, my mother moved to Belleville from Lensburg, and they lived in there for a number of years, somewhere in that prime in the, in the late 30s, early 40s, and until she was graduating from high school. And so they were always duplexes. She, remember, I remember her telling me that when I asked her, this came up years ago and she was still living, but they've been duplexes. And I'm, I'm glad they've been empty. The majority of them have been empty and the house across the street's been empty. And I, I know that they did redistrict this a single family years ago and I get that, but I do think this is a, um, a wise choice to get some life back into those empty buildings. Uh, they're very solid. I'm sure there's a lot of work to do, but they have great potential. Uh, there could be more like townhomes than anything. And uh, you know, so I think it's maybe time to, to move on and get them occupied. Anissa, you have anything else to add? No, sir, other than there was a representative from the Historic Preservation Commission who came and spoke on behalf of supporting the petitioner, as well as um, a neighbor came to speak on behalf and to support as well. They'd rather see something be done with it than left vacant. And there was no negative big push There was at nothing all. negative. There was only positive um, speakers at the zoning board. Yeah, because I asked Anissa, I was curious after all these years if there was a negative uh, voice, but there wasn't. Any other questions? Yes, sir. I spoke to several neighbors around there. They had no concerns about it. So there was no way it's zoning, and I, had, I talked to some neighbors uh, over the weekend during that, and they had no issues. Okay, so we have a, uh, we have a motion and we have a second uh, to approve the recommendation of the zoning board and have the proper ordinance drawn. All in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carries. You want to read next two together, three? Will you read them all? Read them all. Read them all. Okay. 11B2, 41 August 19, Lake Johnson, Huntington 64, LLC, a request for a special use permit to establish a storage facility at 4101 North Belt West, parcel number 08080-317-025 and 08080-316-051, located in a C2 heavy commercial district. Applicable sections of the Zoning Code 162.248 and 162.515, Ward 4. Zoning Board unanimously recommended approval with the stipulation outdoor storage area surfaces are at a minimum gravel and all vehicles and outdoor storage area must be in working condition. 11B3, 42 August 19, Lake Johnson, Huntington 64 LLC, request for a special use permit to establish four metal buildings at 4101 North Belt West, parcel number 08080317025 and 08080316051, located in a C2 heavy commercial district. Applicable sections of the zoning code 162.248 and 162.515, word four, zoning board unanimously recommended approval. 11B4, 43 August 19, EG Vote Oil Company Incorporated, a request for a special use permit to establish a storage facility at 5400 North Belt West, parcel number 08180208001 and 08180208060, located in a D2 heavy commercial district. Applicable sections of the zoning code 162.248 and 162.515, Ward 8. Zoning board unanimously recommended approval with the stipulation outdoor storage area services are at a minimum gravel and all vehicles in storage area must be in working condition. Do I hear for a motion to approve 11B2, 11B3, and 11B4? Motion by Alderman Ferguson, second by Alderman Ovian. Any questions on those three motions recommend, re referencing the zoning board's recommendations? Hearing none, all in favor of approving these motions and have the proper ordinances drawn, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carries. Communications. You need some water before you do this one? Can I read them all together? <laughs> Is there any problem with reading them together? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. 12A, All Food Truck Fridays, 9-6-2019 through 11 2019 Balboa Main Street is requesting to hold fall food truck Fridays from September 6, 2019 through November 1, 2019, excluding September 20th and October 11th, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Request use of parking spot closest to bump outs on West Main, East and West of 2nd Street. Additional services requested, trash coders and cones for parking. 12B, Cathedral Annual Food Truck Fest, 10-5-2019. 
Cathedral of St. Peter is requesting to host their annual food truck fest Saturday, October 5th, 2019, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Street closure request West Harrison Street from South 1st Street to South 2nd Street and South 1st Street from West Lincoln Street to West Harrison Street, 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Additional services requested, barricades, kitchen tables, trash barrels, and placement of yard banners on city property. 12C, Belleville Mural Review, 9-27-2019. Belleville Mural Committee is requesting to host a mural reveal party Friday, September 27, 2019, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Street closure request. North Church Street from East Main to Alley, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Additional services requested, use of gaslight patio, no parking signs, barricades, trash coders, and metal fencing. 12D, Belleville Mural Festival, 928. <coughs> Belleville Mural Committee is requesting to host a mural festival Saturday, September 28, 2019, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Additional services requested, use of gaslight patio and electric. 12E, Lincoln Theater Concerts, 10-10-2019 and 12-5-2019. Request from Lincoln Theater to add an additional concert date of October 10th, 2019 and December 5th, 2019. Additional services requested, use of six barricades, 10 parking spots in city-owned parking lot of High Street. 12F, Walk for Freedom, 10-19-2019. Request to hold a Walk for Freedom on Saturday, October 19th, 2019, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The walk is to raise awareness for human trafficking in the Metro East, no street closure, walk for seats along sidewalks. 12G, Optimus Club of Belleville Santa Parade, 11-29-2019. Optimus Club of Belleville requests to hold the Santa Parade Friday, November 29, 2019, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Street closure requests for staging, North 3rd Street from West C Street to West A, West B Street from North 2nd to North 3rd Street, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Street closure request for parade, rolling closures along parade route, North 3rd Street to West 8th Street to South 6th Street to West Washington Street to South 3rd Street to Main Street, East to Forest Avenue, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Additional services requested, barricades, no parking signs, police personnel, public works personnel, and cleanup of parade route. 12H, Gingerbread 5K Run Walk, 12-7-2019. Request from Belleville Parks and Recreation Department to hold the annual Gingerbread 5K Run and Walk, Saturday, December 7, 2019, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Street closure request, West Main Street from 4th to 6th Street, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and rolling closure of 5K Route, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Additional services requested, barricades, no parking signs, trash coders, electric personnel, and banner placement across West Main Street. 12I, Trail Live USA Legacy Memorial Day 5K 525-2020. Request from Trail Live Truth Illinois 0078 to hold their Legacy Memorial Day 5K Monday, May 25th, 2020, 8.45 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. Street closure request, rolling closure along 5K route and close one lane on West Main Street between 2nd and 4th Street, 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Additional services requested, trash barrels, water, police personnel, and barricades. <laughs> Sorry about that. At this time, I'd ask for a motion if somebody's willing to approve communications 12A, 12B, 12C, 12D, 12E, 12F, 12G, 12H, and 12I. Do I hear a motion? Sure. Mar Alderman Hazel, second by Alderman Duco. Any questions on those? Questions? I needed a clarification on 12D. Isn't that the same day as the uh, high school reunion? Correct. The reunion starts at five. Does that overlap? They're asking oh. for closure at four. And okay. They, they both know so that. they don't overlap. No. Nope. Thank you. That was talked about in their planning meeting, so <laughs> we got that. Any other questions? Good question. Okay. We have a motion. We have a second on these communications. All in favor of approving all these communications as just read by the clerk, signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose? <laughs> motion carries. We go on to petitions. We have none. We flip the page and we go to resolutions. I'd ask for a motion to read by title only, resolution 3364. Do I hear a motion? Consilla, do I hear a second? Steele, do I hear discussion on reading resolution 3364 by title only? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? <laughs> motion carries. Do I hear a motion to approve Santa's parade? Call Alderman Duco, Alderman Steele. You're very wise. The kids will like you. 
We have a motion to approve the resolution 3364. Roll call. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Gentleman? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Motion carries. Ordinances. I'd ask for a motion to read by title only. Ordinance 8365, 8366, 8367, and 8368. And as a group. As a group, is that okay? Yes. Okay. All in favor of that motion? Who has it? First of all, somebody make the motion. Kinsella, second by Hazel. We have a motion to read those ordinances as just read by title only and as a group. All in favor of that, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 15A, Ordinance 8365, 2019, a zoning ordinance regards to 34 July 19, Chanel Bethune. 15B, Ordinance 8366, 2019, a zoning ordinance regards to 41 August 19, Lake Johnson, Huddington, 64 LLC. 15C, Ordinance 8367, 2019, a zoning ordinance regards to 42 August 19, Lake Johnson, Huntington, 64 LLC. 15D, Ordinance 8368, 2019, a zoning ordinance in regards to 43 August 19, EG Vote Oil Company Incorporated. Do I hear a motion to approve Ordinance 8365, 66, 67, 68? Alderman Kinsella, second by Alderman Rothweiler. Do I hear discussion on those four uh, ordinances? Hearing none, roll call. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Gentleman? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Duco? Aye. Motions carry for those ordinances. Unfinished business? Miscellaneous and new business? We, yes, sir. Rafi, I'm going to ask that you see me after the meeting because we have had, um, we've had some extensive meetings with Jeff Hydar needs to be in this conversation. Uh, Ken Bossler can be there too. But this is, this is something uh, we've been working on for many weeks and uh, we're not going to resolve this at City Council. I need to, uh, you know, I can better explain to you tomorrow if you want to contact me but um, the people there know what they have to do, and it's been told over and over again, we have to have a set of plans. Uh, we do it for everybody where it's, you, have, you cannot build out a place and not have a set of plans. Uh, our, our inspectors cannot judge electrical, sewer, HVAC, and all these things, fire, unless they have a set of plans. We're working with these people I think we're getting closer to getting it resolved, and I'll maybe update you, but it, there's nothing else I can say here openly. Okay. Thank you. Okay? Uh, miscellaneous and new business, is someone willing to make a motion to approve the motor fuel claims in the amount of $34,859.80? Alderman uh, Dillman, second by Elmore. Any discussion on the motor fuel claims? Roll call. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Gentlemen? Aye. Steele? Aye. Rothweiler? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Wigginton? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Motion carries. Is someone willing to make a motion to go in executive session so we can have a discussion of, I don't know if we have any litigation tonight or Portman's comp, but um, property acquisition, transfer of property, uh, all those reasons as so listed. Section yeah, section uh, 5, Illinois CS120 slash 2 and C21. C5 and C6. C5 and C6. So we got totally inclusive. Motion by Elmore, second by Steele to go in executive session for those purposes. Any discussion? All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you being here. We should be done in just a little bit.